Atia and who's a GP, mm. you both, Hi. you were just nodding all the yeah. way through that. Yes. Right, so let's take them sort of like, you know, we, we talk about those, uh, the people who are saying uh, no more validity than, than the real flu. Absolutely. I mean, I think we are panicking quite a bit and uh, it is a flu-like illness and on the whole it should be self-limiting. You'll feel poorly for a couple of days, stay at home, take plenty of rest, paracetamol, fluids and you should get better. And what I liked about that and um, what's happening abroad is that they're washing their hands a lot. Mm. We're not really doing that. People are carrying those sort of alcohol rubs with them and uh, and you mm. can just put them on your hands and you're washing your hands you're taking extra hygiene precautions and that's what we really need to do yes uh, so you're, you're saying the American approach in some ways has been better than yes. the way, than the way yeah, that I do we, we, yeah. we've dealt with it yeah. over here um, now, out lots of notes saying yes Penny is um, mm. in, in good condition to get on the flight. <laughs> um, it, that simply will not happen. Let me check in at the boarding gate. Simon, there are some places where they actually are having, uh, you know, you're having temperature thermal imaging, thermal yep. imaging in, in some places. So they are taking a bit more seriously than, for example, regular flu, as oh, we call it. Uh, yes. The point is, you've been saying it's not, it seems to be in general very mild. And people keep phoning you up, and I know that you said you were saying off air that you're, you're, you're having people phoning all the time, just lead it, reading off their list of symptoms. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's worth bearing in mind that if you look after yourself and you're generally fit and well, hopefully you should make a good recovery. By all means, do phone NHS Direct and do speak to your GP. I think by the end of the week, with this national pandemic mm. flu service being up and running, it should take the pressure off us as GPs. And also, it'll be more accessible for patients who are not able to um, get get through to their GP. When, uh, when, when do people need to take Tamiflu? Because that's the other thing. People think, I need to speak to a health professional, either via the, the pandemic flu service or their GP, if they have a persistent temperature for over 48 hours, above 38.5 or 39, plus two other symptoms, which are a sore throat, runny nose, aching, loss of appetite, headache, and generally feeling unwell. And, and then it would be a good idea. Now, bear in mind, Tamiflu is not a cure. It just reduces the severity of symptoms and hopefully prevents further complications. Right, OK, just very briefly, because uh, we've run out of time, can you, we've had uh, an email from... Symptomatic. If you've still got a runny nose or a cough, you shouldn't. Right, thank you both very much for coming in. Take us.